reported that in 2022, more than 2,000 different dealerships in China went bankrupt. Unfortunately, since then, five electric car companies have gone bankrupt and several legacy automakers have declared bankruptcy in China and left the country. Well, now a further 80 dealers just went bankrupt within the past few days in China. Surprisingly, the cars they sell are, well, many of them are electric, but unfortunately, because a lot of them are actually Honda vehicles, which are not electric, uh, that has meant that their profits have been dragged down because Honda is struggling to sell so badly in China that it's having a huge effect on these dealerships. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Japanese automakers, their sales in China collapsed over the past 12 months. In particular, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, which now ceased to exist in China, and Nissan. Subaru, of course, have been part of these issues as well. Now, a China car dealer group has collapsed as the market has run out of steam. But the truth is here, too many internal combustion engine vehicles have been manufactured. This car dealership group, surprisingly, they sell Volvo, Honda, and GAC Aon. But they also sell GAC internal combustion cars and Honda internal combustion cars. And I believe that that is the big problem here. The big problem is they had way too many vehicles of way too many Honda internal combustion engine vehicles, which weren't selling way too many GAC internal combustion engine vehicles, not selling. Now GAC does have a different section. It has its Aeon EVs and they're selling incredibly well. They're selling about 50,000 of those every single month now, but the ICE vehicles are weighing down dealerships enormously, primarily because the Chinese government gave, it gave car manufacturers, specifically legacy automakers, because they're the ones that are making all the internal combustion engine vehicles in China. It gave them until the middle of last year to stop selling or to make big changes, which they haven't made, to their ICE vehicles in order to reduce the emissions. And China's saying there's too many emissions in the country. People are getting basically dying from the emissions. They're too high in certain places, especially in Beijing. I mean, if you've been to Beijing, you can't even see the damn sky. It's ridiculous. So China now makes it very expensive, very difficult for these automakers to sell these vehicles. And that is causing big problems. China's auto export business is clearly booming. It overtook Japan last year as the world's biggest car exporting nation. But closer to home, the situation is much bleaker. The domestic market has contracted. Of course, internal combustion engine sales have contracted, especially for legacy auto, whilst EV sales have grown significantly. That trend, though, has pushed dealership groups into bankruptcy. Guangdong Yangao Investment Group had 80 different retail outlets across its province of Guangdong selling multiple brands, including Honda, Volvo, and GAC. Last week, it notified customers that the company had collapsed and orders had been suspended, leaving customers waiting for cars, wondering whether or not they'd see their vehicle or their money back. In fact, a lot of them still don't know. They may have lost their money. The firm's employees are also in limbo, being owed wages, um, you know, obviously big time situation where, you know, they're not gonna get their retirement benefits, those sorts of things. Uh, which they're apparently unlikely to receive, say, officials. Images recently appeared on social media showing around 20 yellow tow trucks there to repossess cars, though sources were unable to confirm if that was the case, but it looks pretty obvious that that was what was going on. Industry watchers say signs of the firm's impending collapse have been there for a while. In fact, signs of collapse of internal combustion engine sales uh, all over China. Um, if you don't know this already, you've got to be hiding under a rock. It's insane. There's literally millions of cars. By the way, all the YouTube videos telling you their EVs are ridiculous. The truth is EV sales are growing every single month. EV sales are through the roof. I mean, they sold, what? I think it was about a million EVs in December alone. Ridiculous. Internal combustion engine vehicles though, literally, there's literally hundreds of thousands, probably millions of them just sitting in parking lots, gathering dust. I mean, they're not even being washed because they're not selling. Industry watchers say signs of collapse have been there for a while for internal combustion engine vehicles in particular, with disgruntled employees making complaints to the government about withheld wages as far back as April. April was a long time ago. 
The signs of distress in the overall car market, however, have been there for far longer. There is 91 EV companies, five have gone bankrupt over the past 12 months. However, last year, there was only 22 million cars sold in China. When? In 2016, there was 24 million sales. In 2017, 25 million. One customer said to Bloomberg, he said he'd taken delivery of his Link and Co, which is a brand owned by Geely, before the collapse but he was still waiting for his dealership to sort out the registration paperwork, which is $2,000, the vehicle purchase tax owed on the car. Other customers, uh, they won't be so fortunate. State media says that a task force has been set up to investigate the collapse and try to protect buyers who have already paid in full for cars they're still waiting for. What that means is that basically Honda, uh, GAC, Volvo, they will have to cover the cost. Um, the Chinese government will say, no, 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 they paid for these cars. They deserve to get their cars. And Honda and GAC, these, these big brands will just have to take the hit. This will happen a lot more over the coming 12 months. Evergrande, the NEV brand, the EV brand, they've just gone bankrupt. Evergrande has gone bankrupt as an overall company owing 330 billion US dollars. The Chinese economy is clearly about to hit what we might say maybe nicely, a recession. This will impact many different dealerships and this will continue over the coming months. That said, China will see significant growth likely outside of China, selling EVs at probably much lower prices than what they are today. One of the reasons battery prices are tipped to come down by up to 50% in the next six months. Thank you for watching.